my name is Dina, and I cannot read, but there's one thing I can do, and that's tell the story. Hey, Dina, what's your name? This is from one of my loyal fans. They have sent in some questions and um, have requested some of the stories that have happened in my life that have really, truly not really happened. Okay, this one is from Fran Drescher, and she writes, The day I woke up under the bridge in a tuxedo smelling like pine salt. Well, that's a hoot and hand holler. Well, basically what happened was about 1984, and um, uh, that's when Air Duster had just come out. And um, I had huffed Air Duster and drank six bottles of Pinot, Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio, that's, yeah, that's how you say it, I think. I'm not French, so I don't know. Anyway, so I did that, and um, I, I remember getting in the back of a black Volkswagen bug when I blacked out. But then when I woke up, but I was, um, I was in a cheerleader outfit. When I woke up, though, I was in a tuxedo, and I smelled a pine saw, and there were, like, random cinder blocks broken all around me. And I called my friend Tim. I was like, Tim, what happened? And he said that I had gone crazy and was doing impersonations of Chuck Norris and breaking cinder blocks with my head. And that explained all the stitches that were all up in my forehead. And I'm glad that happened because it would have been, like, super way scarier if it would have been the Kool-Aid, man. This is um, written from my fearless boss, and he asks, Remember that day that you were there when the Bambito hit his first home run? Yeah, I remember that day. I was sitting there, and my blood sugar was low because all I'd eaten was sugar daddies for like three months. Sugar daddies and pop rocks and uh, big red. And so um, I went to baseball because baseball calms your nerves, and my nerves were all shot at the time. And this guy came up, and he's all like pointing at me. I'm like, don't point at me. And he's like, and I'm like, don't point at me. And he did that again. And then, then the guy pitched the ball to the guy that was pointing at me, but he wouldn't point anymore. He had a bat, and he hit the ball and nailed me. And that is how they came up with the name Home Run. Because when he hit me with the ball, they had to pick me up and run me home so that I wouldn't fall asleep because I had a concussion. Had nothing to do with my blo low blood sugar, but I still eat sugar daddies today. This is from Trant, and it says, Vietnam won stories with Captain Crunch and Colonel Sanders, two of my very close and best friends. Anyway, that has nothing to do with my blood sugar either, but these were two of my very close best friends. And it turns out that Colonel Sanders at the time was in the Pentabrit, which is um, uh, like a pyramid scheme of fast food people um, trying to put MSG in everything to um, trick you into it. Well, Captain Crunch called him out on it, and um, we all got in like a big fist fight. And during that fist fight, the police came and locked us up in jail. And then they took us to the judge, and the judge was there, and he's all like, what are your boys doing? And I'm like, well, you know, we're just chilling out. And we got into a fight over the MSG issue. And he said, well, I'll give you two choices. You can either go to jail or go to Vietnam. And so we picked Vietnam. And for some reason, Colonel Sanders was a bit of a weenie, and he ended up in Korea. And because of us being missing, Ronald McDonald ran amok, and that's why we now have Shamrock Shakes. Scratch-off tickets were really, really fun, though, except for the silver metal flaking on the scratch-off tickets got underneath my nails, and I got septic. My name is Dieter, and I cannot read. But there's one thing I can do, and that's tell story.